Um, okay, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Game Insight, which is a two and a half years old gaming company headquartered in Russia, but we already achieved quite a lot um, in our operations. Um, several very interesting facts about Game Insight is that it's run by five women. And uh, another one is that we never raised any capital, it's all, all privately held. And uh, which is quite impressive because we've been profitable for, uh, for a while and um, we're looking into making about $150 million uh, gross revenues this year. Um, so like I said, company has been established in, in the end of 2010 by longtime gamers. Uh, we're all kind of fans of MMORPG games we're playing for, for, the, uh, for the long, long, long time. Uh, one, gaming, because uh, first of all, it's our passion. Second of all, we do understand uh, how to make great, successful games. And third of all, we played a lot of games on the social networks at that time, and didn't, we didn't find what we liked. So we decided basically to create, to, to create our own games. Uh, at this time, we developed for mobile and social networks, primarily for Android and iOS. Android is probably our biggest success story because we the first, uh, probably, if not the first, one of the very few global developers who made over a million dollars on a single title in a single month uh, on Android platform. Uh, also, all our games are freemium, free to play. Uh, we do not put any advertisement in our games, so 100% of revenue uh, coming from uh, microtransactions and virtual goods. Um, uh, back to why game, gaming, because Right now at this time, uh, or more, more or less, uh, I think it's 89%. It's actually uh, those numbers for, uh, on other studies a little bit higher. It's people who are actually using their uh, mobile phones for entertainment uh, and uh, primarily for games. Uh, why Android? Because Android does not have uh, the limitations uh, iPhones and iOS put on the rest of the world except United States. Uh, Android right now holds, if I'm not mistaken, over 60% of uh, mobile devices uh, market right now. And um, also, it's interesting because this market has pretty much forever growth. Uh, and the great example of that would be Korean market. Uh, in Korea, a couple years ago, everybody stopped, stopped to put uh, in new content in the amount it used to be because they saw that the market stopped, grow, uh, stopped growing. Uh, it's, very small country, you know, how many devices one person can actually have. And uh, then it's actually um, turns out to be completely different. Korean market, growing like crazy right now, they have the highest RPUs, they are historically long time gamers, they spend a lot of much money on a great, great, great content. And uh, right now, as you see um, on my slide, the trend uh, for people having more than one uh, two or three devices is actually growing, and uh, which means the penetration of mobile devices globally is going to be increasing, and more and more and more people are going to play um, games, basically, because this is the best time time sinker when you go in, like, in the subway, on a bus, uh, you know, when you have pretty much nothing to do, you always go to games. Um, our games uh, right now we have over 20 titles. Uh, I put just uh, some of them on this title, uh, uh, on this slide, I'm sorry, because uh, right now we have 13 Android titles, but we also have 300 developers uh, back in Russia who develops everything in-house and we develop constantly new content. Recently we also opened a uh, publishing division which takes third party titles because even having 300 developers, we do not have enough uh, people and time to develop content as much as uh, market demands. Uh, our hit titles is definitely the biggest one would be Paradise Island. This is our first uh, Android title ever, we, we, uh, which also a great case study uh, for Android platform altogether. Uh, this title has been number one top grossing game uh, globally on Android over 26 weeks. Like I said, this is a game which made over a million dollars in a single month uh, globally, and uh, this is also the title behind which we did not put any marketing resources at all. Uh, well, we put like $20,000, which is at that time with user acquisition being uh, about $3, is pretty much nothing. 
Uh, we'll also have Mystery Manor, which is our first freemium hidden object game uh, on the market. It has been extremely successful on Facebook and also right now on iOS. And um, a couple, a, about a week ago, we released it on Android, and it's already been in the top charts and kind of uh, monetizing am amazingly, making a lot of money. This is a game which makes on every single platform over a million dollars a month easily. Then we have Airport City, which is uh, my quite, um, uh, I love this game because this is another city builder game. Uh, and this was a surprise to the Facebook, for example, for us as well, because we put it on a Facebook. And the game made over a million dollars right away. And at that time, it was like so many city builders on a Facebook, you would never ever project that another city builder game would make a lot of money off on Facebook because everybody got kind of bored. But then again, the high quality content always rules, always monetize. This is a golden rule for, for us and I believe should be for every developer, small or big. Um, this is basically the chart where we're making our most money right now. United States, uh, of course, is number one market for us. However, we are um, paying a lot of attention to Asia and Chinese market at this time. And I believe that by the end of this year, the revenue streams will shift significantly because Korea is picking up for us in terms of money. We just released our third titles in, title in Korea. Uh, we're looking into Japan and, of course, uh, in China. And we actually, I just came from China, and I think that China will rule the world like in no time. It's already kind of us. But in terms of for us and in terms of for uh, revenue, money, and consumption of uh, gaming content, that's going to be the number one country pretty soon. Um, uh, this is pretty much our priorities for the rest of this year. Uh, like I said, we're looking into emerging markets with Japan, Turkey, India, Brazil, and China. Uh, we're also, Android is our number one priority. As you can see, we develop uh, mostly for Android at this time. Uh, we're also paying a lot of attention to iOS. Of course, everybody does who wants to make money. Uh, even though iOS, it's more, uh, I would say, it's perfect sort of environment for paid applications, unlike, uh, unlike on Android, because Android is like paradise for uh, freemium applications. And uh, we still do not cross out of our list Facebook, because over 60% of uh, population and users on Facebook uh, right now accessing the games through mobile devices. So I guess Facebook just needs to figure out how to make uh, th their application to be able to provide users with a, good play, uh, with a good user experience, including playing games. And that's it for me, and I think that I was speaking very fast. <laughs> Thank you.